This is the University of Kentucky's horticulture research farm where the students planted their cover crop mixture about six weeks ago. This was a day to collect samples and data. Each student planted a different combination of cover crops. Victor Halmos, a UK graduate student studying entomology, planted a mixture of sorghum Sudan grass, oilseed radish, and hairy vetch. One of the first things I that I noticed was my third cover crop, the hairy vetch, was uh, outcompeted by the tillage radish, probably because of shade, shade competition. UK senior Suzanne Deeb had a similar discovery with her cover crop combination of hairy vetch, vestard, and buckwheat. And it was really interesting to see how it actually like comes out in real life and see the reality of like, hey, these plants like compete with each other for resources and maybe don't combine them. Deeb and Halmos and their UK classmates were part of nearly 80 college students from seven U.S. universities in a class co-taught by UK weed scientist Aaron Haramoto and instructors from the other schools. The hybrid class includes in-person exercises and virtual discussions over Zoom. The students study cover crops in a variety of agricultural systems to maximize their benefits and minimize their negative aspects. So there are some very real challenges to using them that kind of limit their adoption. In addition to the fact that they cost money, a lot of the benefits they provide accumulate over a longer term. And um, uh, so there's often not a real economic incentive to use them in the short term. A lot of farmers do use cover crops, and Kentucky is in the top 20 of percentage of acreage in cover crops. Nationwide, there's been an increase in cover crops, but remains pretty small. One of the exercises the students participated in the class was a way to measure soil health through microbial activity. It's called soil your undies, and so you they have this, this activity where you can go bury a very specific brand of underwear in different parts of your fields or fields that are under different management practices and then the, you leave it in there for a set period of time the more the underwear is degraded or decomposed the more biological activity there is in your soil. Once a week the UK students meet with their counterparts over Zoom and are divided into small groups to discuss what they have discovered in exercises that week. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.